I've been looking forward to this weekend all year. It's the Tamar Lakes Pears Festival. Me and my partner, Tom Scully, have come all the way down to Butte to fish it. We've come for a little cheeky practice today, and it is proper wild. The wind's in our face, it's blowing a hoolie, but I tell you what, we're catching a few fish. Big waters like this are my favourite kind of venues and me and Tom today we thought we'll come and because we've got a competition next couple of days we'll try a few different things to see what worked. So today I've started on the feeder and I've done something a little bit different to what I normally would. When we got here this morning there were some carp anglers on that far bank and they were spotting some baiting and I thought these skimmers might like some carp bait so at the start I've put 10 big feederfuls of micro pellets which have actually got a carp flavouring um, an activate flavour, it's very carpy and meaty with a lot of sweet corn, some hemp and a few chopped worms as well and really put a bed down and then over the top of that I fish with a little bit smaller feeder full of worms but rather than plugging the end of it with ground bait I said to Tom you know what I fancy trying something different and plugging it with micro pellets and it's worked pretty well. I've just got a little 20 gram distance feeder on after spotting all that bait out with a big feeding one and I'm just plugging some worms in the middle of it and then either edge with that little carp mix that I've got some pellets some corn quite a bit of hemp in there and I'm surprised how well it's working I hope it works this weekend just as well got a line clip on so I'm nice and accurate it's about 12 13 foot deep out there because it's so windy I've got my rod right I just felt it at the bottom then and I'm just tightening up nice and slowly now bites are coming pretty quick I'm keeping my hand on my rod and a lot of skimmers are like sort of four to ten ounce and they do give little tiny bites and the beauty about having a long rest like this is if you do get a little bite you can just drop your rod back on it if you do miss it normally you'll get a little second chance and maybe get another one really important that you do use braid I think when you're doing this sort of fishing look at that lovely roach just shows that everything in these places that get carp fish do eat the baits that them carp anglers chuck in there good thing little feeder nice and quick back out hopefully we'll build the weight up really have come in on this bait now better get your finger out Thomas you need sort of 30 40 pound to do well on this and I think these are the fish that we're going to need to catch this weekend if we're going to uh, do any good in the pairs I mean they're not massive but you'll soon build a weight with them probably six seven ounce nailed straight in that bottom lip Mwah. love it As well as a feeder, I've also set up my favourite jam roll. Couldn't come here, we are setting a pole rig up or two. But Tom's going to ball it in today, fish traditionally for roach, and I thought, we're here practising, might as well do something a bit different. So I've fed less bait, but really rich in feed. And I've done that, I've fed four balls absolutely full of micro pellets, corn and chopped worms in hope of catching some bigger fish, some skimmers, maybe an odd bream. This wind's pushing in and I do fancy catching a few. Now because... I'm practicing today I've tried a few different ways of topping up I've tried loose feeding to keep them there and I didn't like that they seemed to come off the bottom and missed a lot of bites I've also tried throwing little hard balls of ground bait every cast and again it just seemed like I was feeding too regular I missed a few bites lost some fish the best way to top up today practicing has been to pot in a big ball after like every 15 20 fish and it just keeps them nice and settled as you can see now 
they're all on the bottom they're right over that feed and catching one every chuck in and tom's doing similar to be fair look at this little beauty you'll never guess what this is it's a bob nud little bob nud mr rudd look at him what a lovely fish didn't know they were in here beautiful well hopefully a bit of practicing this afternoon for me and thomas will pay off i hope we'll do well in the uh, festival but tell you what we've got a couple of girls lined up in view tonight Chantel and diane and i reckon i'm gonna call this the last fish nice billy perch and then we'll uh, go and have a curry a couple of pints and meet the ladies